what would you say to the person that is like feeling stuck right now who's who's getting all of this rich word because we have so many people now that are you we have access to word like never before with the power of technology um and, and but somebody who's feeling stuck knowing that they have something in the womb of their spirit um, but asking where do i start with productivity uh especially with so much change it, it, that's a good question um There are several things to consider. Number one, a transitional strategy. You know, how do you transition from one season to another? What does it look like? What does it feel like? Um, And that's going to be an important consideration for all of us. Um, It feels like something is dying. It feels you have that pain, but there's that um, gnawing anxiety that goes along with it. And it could be translated as anxiety, but they can also be translated as birth pangs, mm. where, where, where heaven is birthing something through you. Right. Um, and what we need is midwives, people that are assigned to articulate what you're feeling. I consider myself a midwife, right. able to, to or just articulate, to articulate what people are feeling. Okay. So you have that transition period. Um, And you have to accept that we will never go back to the old. Mm. So the church now is transitioning from, or we're transitioning from the church age to the kingdom age. Mm. Um, And so what God is birthing now is is more of a kingdom paradigm. Um, People have aspirations and we have dreams Mm -hmm. and we don't suffer from being a dreamer or even have aspirations. But what we're suffering from is possibility blindness. We're not able to see all the possibilities that are out there because we're restricting God to such a narrow platform. Yes. You know, and with man, things are impossible. With God, all things are possible. So faith takes you into the realm of God, which is the realm of unlimited potentiality and possibilities. Mm. So in this transitional period, um, stop restricting God with your prayers. Wow. Um, and if I could use an analogy, when God begins to give you ideas, especially creative ideas, mm-hmm. he, he writes it on the canvas of your mind. Mm. And the Holy Spirit begins to upload what heaven downloads. Mm. And the scripture says that he gives us dream to seal instruction in our hearts. So when you wake up in the morning, I say pe- to people, just spend a couple of minutes. Oh. Don't say anything. Just be quiet because he's actually sealed an instruction <laughs> in your spirit, in your heart, while you were slumber- slumbering and sleeping. Wow. S- don't restrict God just to what you see in front of you immediately because that's someone else's platform. <laughs> You know, that, that is your pastor's platform. Mm. That's not your platform. And he reserves, he has to talk to God, but just because there may not be a slot um, in a very hectic schedule of two hours on Sunday morning to get everything done. um, You've got the rest of the week. (laughs) Mm. That's you know, you, you've got the rest of the week. And if there's no platform for those two hours on a Sunday, be like John the Baptist. Go out there, put your podium, your platform in the midst of the wilderness mm. and, and allow the Holy Spirit to create the capacity for you to c- communicate through song and through music. Mm. But there's room for each one of us. Right. We don't have to com- meet, compete with the other person. You don't want to be a sound alike, a look alike. Right. But find the platform that's out there for you. And if there's not one in your local church, uh, don't complain. Create. Mm. Just create. Create one. Um, and be a solution. Start where you are, with who you are. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to know that We have to say goodbye. We have to say goodbye to yesterday. And COVID-19 levels out the playing field. Wow. Because what we need right now, we need new. Mm. We don't need old. You know, the new normal. I tell people this is normal. 
Mm. Every breakthrough has happened during a critical moment of crisis. And, you know, what has God planted in you? Um, find, find someone to mentor you. Th- that's why I celebrate you. Wow. Um, you're saying to, to all of your followers, look, I have this connection. I'm going to give you access to my network, my mentors, people that speak into my life. And we need more people like you. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm telling you all that, that, that is so weighty right there because we, we are, we are entering into a, into a new, into a new dispensation a new normal that that will make us un, uncomfortable and and again i'm i'm so honored to um be able to bring um such um influencers of our generation to to this platform just to speak into uh the lives of of those that that want that want to hear because this is this is why where where i am where i'm at i mean i don't by any means you know put myself to be at you know some some high level but i do uh thank god for the um for the for the divine connections that he's placed in the influencers uh, in my life over the years, and um, and Dr. Trim is definitely one of them. And so, as we're going through this, I do want to just be sure the Q and A question. If you all do have a, we have, we'll have time for a couple of questions. If yeah, you, uh, yes. Type that in.